Hey guys, it is your girl Brit Brat and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, make sure you subscribe by the end of this video. If you are returning, hey Brat, hey. So today guys, we're going to be doing a beautiful ombre, beautiful, beautiful ombre. So make sure you grab your tools and your popcorn or whatever you want and let's get to the video. I just looked at my wrist, I got time today. All right, guys, I just wanted to put out a huge disclaimer that today's voiceover is going to be sponsored by maybe, I don't know, <laughs> or maybe we should say a huge, no, not even a huge interruption by baby girl. But if you hear some bees in the background, y'all, that is our lovely, lovely, lovely Miss Nori baby. So, um, I just wanted to do that since I'm just basically doing my base coat. Let you guys know that she is in the background and those click clacks that you hear are her beads. So, um, but yeah, so I went ahead and I did my chemical print up already. Now I am doing my base coat. Um, so after the base coat. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm tickled by that. I'm so tickled. Um, but this is the beautiful gold polish that I'll be using by Benalisa. I love this gold gel polish. It's really one of the, my favorite golds. Um, and then I will be using Nude Bar by iGel Beauty. And I will also be using a Milky White from Born Pretty um, as well for this look, guys. <laughs> but um yeah so after I show you all these beautiful tools that I'm using oh and this is the brush that I'm using I will make sure to link it in my Amazon storefront and link it down below as well for you guys but um yeah you guys already saw the thumbnail that gold is just like everything when it's applied. It's really pretty. I'm going to see if I could find it. I did, however, purchase this um, a while back. Um, and it is no longer on my orders. Um, but I'm, I'm going to try to research it. Um, I did get a new Amazon account. So you know how that goes. But anyways. Um, so now, y'all, this ombre, this is my first time. Okay, this is my first time achieving succeeding doing this beautiful ombre when it came out and i figured it out when i figured out how to do it i was like oh <laughs> like i'm not lying to you guys i was like oh my gosh i figured it out so here we go guys the secret to it all is by going slow you don't want to pat fast. You want to make sure that when you're working with this type of ombre brush, that you don't leave those streaks from the brushes. I also, a tip is after every so often, wipe your brush off. Because if you can see, if you can see that those bristles started like sticking together, um, right in there so when I wiped off the excess gel it kind of like made them fan out more instead of them clumping together so the key is to pat 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 okay <laughs> the key is to pat it ever so slowly ever so gently and to wipe your brush every so often guys so those are my two tips if you try them I hope they work for you. Please let me know because I know the girls, a lot of us girlies are having a hard time with ombre, especially the ones who are not using acrylic. If we're just using gel, we have gone through the, the uh, powders. We have gone through the, um, the airbrush and we have gone through just all different kinds of methods. But I'm telling you now that if you want to do your gel ombre, with gel polish not an airbrush gun or any of that that this method works and chef kisses to my ombre like i was like oh my gosh it came out so pretty so gorgeous i absolutely love it those are my tips for you guys one make sure that you are working slowly two clean off your brush 
um, every so often and I believe like yeah you're gonna be good to go let me know down below if you do this method if you are and now don't get it twisted y'all I probably will still be going to my airbrush okay um, as long as it's my acrylic paint and everything um, but yeah so let me guys uh, let me know if you guys are willing to try one and try this method So now I'm doing the nude part of the ombre. And I just want you to see here like how I'm swiping it down, but I'm like patting it at the same time. Slow, steady. Excuse me, guys. Um, and I'm wiping my brush, just trying to make sure those bristles that you know that are stuck together. Um trying to get you know, so the lines and the streaks, because I know that when I first started doing the ombre, the lines and the streaks were like getting me. But again, pats, pull, pat, pull, clean, pat, pull, pat, pull, clean. Um, I figured it out and I'm excited. So if you guys use those uh, trips, tricks tips <laughs> let me know and um tell me what you guys think about this ombre i mean it's not fully done yet but y'all i'm telling you like it came to life and i was like oh my gosh and when i figured it out i was like oh my gosh i'm be ombre with gel polish more often because i do like the acrylic spray paint it looks good and everything it really does but this method too like once you master it and know what you're doing it's just as easy versus pulling out the spray gun, having to clean the spray gun, and da 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 da. But again, like I said, I will still be using it, especially when I have a massive orders. Um, it does help 
um, especially a mass of orders that have ombre. Um, just pull out that gun, sh 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 about two, three sets. But if it's only like one set, then I'll probably be using this method. I'm literally holding my key. 
literally holding me and like gripping me. I was gripping it for life because I was shaking. I didn't know why at the time I didn't know. Uh, but got first off, I was being shaky. As you can see, I'm fixing it because I was like, okay, I'm literally shaking too much. Um, but make sure you eat. Make sure you are not just running off coffee all day. Okay, uh, no bueno. Okay, don't do it. And I'm just being transparent, honest with you guys, because I love you guys so much. Um, but that's one of my um, biggest flaws that I have. Um, and I, I'm transparent. I like telling you guys things. I have ADHD. And I am a binge eater. And all those <laughs> crazy things. Those are going to come up in the vlogs. The face vlogs. The candid moments. But yeah. So um, I hadn't eaten because I was going to eat later. <laughs> That's so bad. But I really want to get into talking to you guys more about like HD, ADHD, being a business owner, all those things. This is a nail channel, but it's a community. You know what I'm saying? I love you guys. I really like from the bottom of my heart want you guys to know I love you guys so, so much. So, um, yeah, that's that. Um, and... And there was a point in time where I like was a little bit ashamed to like say that. But as I'm a growing adult, it's like embrace who you are. You know what I'm saying? So if you happen to have ADHD as well, you know, I'm here for you. If you have like a daily struggle, I, what I'm trying to do now is work on my time management. So for the girls who get it, understand it. Um, if you need help, <laughs> I know I need to help myself sometime first, but if you need help, let me know. You can reach out to me anytime and we can talk about it. We can figure this out, especially if you have a, a nail business or whatever it may be. I'm here for you. I am here for you. Just DM me on Instagram. That's all I can say. And the girls can vouch. My inbox on Instagram is always open. Nail mail, nail mail. Yeah, I got some nail mail while I was doing this video and I was so excited, y'all, because I've been hearing a lot about this brand. I've heard about this brand numerous of times, but I felt like my um nails were always secure. Um, especially when doing da -da -da -da, rhinestones and jewels. But I've heard a lot about Dulé. So I was like, you know what, Brittany, go ahead and get it. But I wanted to get both the brush method and the squeeze. Excuse my ashy hands. Of course, y'all know I had them gloves on. So excuse my hands. But um, yeah, so I'm excited to try out Zule to see how it works with my rhinestones. As y'all know, I already use the Ijo Beauty works good, but blah, blah, blah. Um, and I heard that using that spray with the Zule, your charms and stones are secured okay so i just wanted to try something new i just want to make sure that when i'm preaching or telling my clients luxury press ones that they really are getting the luxury effect like you can wear these two to three times you know even with the stones on so yep so that's what i did okay gloves back on and we is getting back into the, the tutorial okay so as y'all already know I like to do my buffing and prep. So using my swipe, uh, love swipe. If you do not have swipe, swipe is a must, okay? It is a must. And I know that people like to make their own concoctions with the 50% as some 50% alcohol. But me, on the other hand, let me go on ahead and buy some swipe, okay? Like, I'm not judging or knocking anybody that does because I do some DIY stuff. But 
sometimes <laughs> guys when i make diy stuff it fails just like y'all i was trying to make um diy glaze okay i read the recipes on pinterest it said mix 50 percent no, it said fill it up with your fragrance oil of choice and then a little bit of water. I did that. Tell me why that thing is not working. But anyways, y'all here for nails. Okay. Um, so um, what I do is I, um, oh, that's what it was, y'all. So tell me why when I was um, doing this, I took a picture and my husband was like, why are those nubs on it? That is irking me. I'm like, babe, I know what I'm doing. Okay. So I like to get the little edges off. I like my to shape them crisp and stuff at the end. I know some people prefer to take the nub off in the beginning. I take the nub off in the end because there's no point in taking it off prior for me guys. This is for Brittany, Brit Brat. Okay take them off in the end but he was like yo that is irking me i'm like i got this i said i'm gonna tell my girls what you said though but anyway so i buff and all that good stuff and then you know get the dust off your hands get the dust off the nails and then i swipe them again and yeah <laughs> i hope y'all love me as much as i love y'all i hope y'all love me as much as i love what i'm doing like seriously y'all can tell me if i'm not funny though <laughs> i hope y'all love me though but like, seriously, if you do love me, let me know down below that you guys are here. I'm seeing some comments coming in, but I need more. I need my Bratz crew to come in and tell me, like, you liking what you see. Keep going. Let me see this. I want to make sure that y'all are getting what y'all want. But she's gorgeous to me. I think she came out, she's coming out really cute. Like, I can't wait to slap the top coat on her. I can't wait. But that ombre is giving. Okay. All right, guys, so it's top coat time and that top coat just some mwah, chef kisses. I hope that sounds like a real kiss. But yes, that top coat on this, this set, I, I really, I'm loving what I'm doing now, y'all. I hope y'all are enjoying the journey, taking the journey with me. If you did not pull out your tools this time, save this video, come back to the video. If you want another video, a more in-depth video, video let me know down below comment down below and i will do a slower video a real time video now i did slow down the parts of me doing the first ones for you guys um so but if you guys want another video in full in depth or live because y'all know i like to go live let me know okay a look at this set mm. 
Golden Frost Baby is what we named her. She is called Golden Frost. She is available on my website. Hey, Nori. Hey, Nori. Hey, Nori. So, yes, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for tuning in. Again, if you have not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell. Comment. Like the video. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, girl. Hey. <laughs> this is her special husband reporting to you live. So right here, I'm applying my little clear coat and it's called top coat. I'm sorry. So I'm playing my, I'm glassing it out right now. Yeah. Putting that wet, wet on it. You got to get behind the stone mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, make sure you get the tip. Cause it's always it's always good on that tip. You hear me? So yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Omg.